tinu yaba kulembeza abali embe na bali kuletera ganzo okukola ki okuvunda oliko fulabu ntambuile omuvubu kaga avweyo yali lila yati kwa muna akani yindi ya jamu yindi ndoza nga takoba ile kumukulembeze omukulembeze ole yali atwala department ye ndoza yakola ki ya mwandika kwe balo ai babu kumu izayo ruchi rutalo ai ngatuli naba kulembeze una abagundivu abasobola kugema kwa vuka bako kola ki kwa izayo kumirimu ai tuzira bantu batugema kale sebo mukuru sande okoze bulungi okutuletera omusomo guno tubone getu kola ki getu tandike abakulembeze abali tali tali tuyamba abana bajatu fukire kiki ekizibo emu anaga afuna mwana mwini namuko batyo buyekera buliye ajabu ki buje kuba ari kwenda ki sent ekyo chonka ze nino obunivu kuchintu ekyo kankange nga kwa amai nabande ta tenya muzamiru ki ya person wa itoda ema yubu what you are talking about violent extremism of Yekera is real because by the time Jamil Mukul began from Mbale to Mwezi and then South Musoga Forest, he was around and he saw. So he's confirming what really took place and he's saying that he, uh, the leaders, can I say the MPs? Those, those, those top leaders, the leaders, the political leaders and the other leaders have not helped these youth. Because he has an example and he cited one, that there was a youth who was a policeman, but he was interdicted. He has struggled, he has tried many times to go back to duty, but he has failed simply because he has no leaders who can help him to be re-employed in the police. So we are just looking on this youth, and eventually, when somebody comes in and entices them to join them, willingly they do so. Briefly, that's what he has said. Um, yes. Thank you, Professor uh, Dr. Sande. Once again, I'm Bukos yes. Ramadan, Chiafasun City Majusaku County. I've just had an observation. And uh, this has just come, just come as a result of uh, our poor education policies. I'm here to uh, bargain for more vocational training for our youth. If you could go out today with about five buses, you can fill them within one subcount of Imaniro who are just idling in the trading centers for Ludo and Matatu. If the government would come up with a, a policy that please, we train these youths in a vacation training, say the making of ropes, making pancakes, uh, and so on, these, these youths would not be sitting in the trading centers. As a leader, they ask us, where should we go and work? I have a boy on my, at my village in Ibukomia who said I will not go to school because the job I was training, I was, uh, I was planning to go and take was taken by, by Balaba. He wanted to become a cow. He could not go ahead because the Balaba took the job. So, <laughs> so now, let me request that in your research you include this, that please, Let's get where we can take these youths to make them active, other than idling in the trading centers. Thank you very much. I'm asking again, Stephen, District Committee Resident Officer Mayuge. I just wanted to supplement on what you, you said. Um, I wanted to cite an example of how do I term it? Prolong the unresolved conflict. And I want to bring an example of uh, Malong as a sub county. Being a committee liaison officer, I do a lot of movement, more especially in Malongo. There's a problem in Malong. Between the land owners and the farmers and the government. And the government has taken long 
to solve that problem. You get so many people have been displaced and they are now therefore exposed to radicalization leading to terrorism. Still, at Malong, at Malong Sabo County, I wanted to talk briefly on political marginalizations. And I think RDC can bear maybe a witness. Malong as a sub county, I believe it has almost 26 landing sites. Plus, and in other areas, there is no substantive administrative structures which could do help this. Because if there was substantive administrative structures in the place, they would assist to monitor some of these youths who are exposed to radicalization. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to build from the, the Secretary of Finance for the youth, the submission. Uh, the youth uh, somehow left behind many times when planning is being done. And this forces them into being irresponsible. irresponsible. What happens? They become young mothers. After becoming young mothers, they become irresponsible of their families. Just as the funder says, that charity begins at home. They are not going to be responsible of the family they are making up at the moment, and then our offices are going to be flooded with issues of child neglect, out school dropout, crime rate, and this is a very big problem. So if we involve the youth, I think it can be one way of making them busy not idolizing, they look for alternative of defiling, raping, and at the end of the day, we have issues to handle. Thank you very much for putting me on spot. Thank you for the invitation that has been extended to us in the spheres of the religious. I used to be a youth and gradually I'm coming out of usefulness. And uh, when they discuss about that, I look at my short distance move that I've made so far. Uh, the discussion is so good and very inclusive. I would want to challenge this gathering this morning and this afternoon. Many people are giving appreciation. I too do appreciate your coming and your effort. But I want us to not only think about youth, because there are elders who behave in more unbecoming than youth. And they are the ones who are making the youth to behave in that way because they are not introducing the youth in the right way. And they are not giving a way also for youth to practice their administration. So the youth remain youth forever, because the elders are there to lead, and they are there to stay. So let us focus on the, our focus on the youth is very good, and we should always consider that. But don't, let us not forget about the other level, the women, the men, and uh, the children and uh, the elders. More so, I would also challenge us to look at the women and the children. Some few days ago, I was for a forum like this, focusing on gender-based violence and the normal circumstances those who are affected for the violence are the women and children. In our IGAD meeting, let us also create a forum where children and, and women will be treated with a specific uh, intentions. I say this because I've stayed in the places where violence are, and those who are the victim of the situations are always either women or children, and the cause has always becomes the men, and that is the most unfortunate part. So let us think about that. Number two, uh, IGAD should also extend a forum like this to institutions that have as many youths. I was so exalted when he said I brought the, the youth to play in your ground. Indeed, they came to play in our ground. And I found that without knowing I participated in the development of the youth, the transformation of the youth of the Mayuke. They were in our ground and I said, thank you very much for bringing bring them again. So let us target them in different institutions. In the church, we work with youth, 
and we have a specific council that deals with youth. And our youth, we train them to be peacemakers and developers. Let us focus at schools, let us focus at the churches, let us focus at monsters and to, to get the youth and to get uh, in touch with them. And finally, let us learn the psychology. What makes us fail to do many things is uh, we don't understand the psychology and the culture behind what the youth want. The youth are not mistaken to be what they are today. I used to be in crisis with my parents and they said, are you youth, you don't understand. I said at one time you were a youth. And now today is my time, you don't want me to behave in that way. <laughs> it, is, it, is a, it is a transition. In psychology, we learned of it, is a transition that we move. We move in stages. But unless we understand their psychology, it's not, it's not their mistake to be the digital today. And the world today, that is one of the elements that IGAT will have to examine. The world has moved from analog to digital. Mm. And today, if you talk to a youth, talking or without, or talking about internet, smartphone, and even when the game has been played today, who has taken premiership, somebody in the village is able to know that. So we have uh, a global scientific challenges, which we are shifting off from the, the slumber of, uh, of digital of analog, the slumber of PO box, and we are going to the digital. Mm. Now to bridge that gap is a problem. And even the youth who are in the digital have crisis with the youth in the PO box. So in the next time, let us try to incorporate them and bring them together for development of our youth and for development of our country, for development of our continent. Together we can. We can make youth great again. Thank you very much. I just wanted to supplement what he has said. As we, we get ways of fighting this, I think on a special note, let's think about women, the mothers. Because what I've come to realize is that uh, mothers are a treasury of secrets for daughters and sons. Most youth who go wherever they go, who join or do whatever they do, at least the mother is likely to have a hint, some knowledge of the same. So if we bring them on board, tell them, discuss with them, show them how bad it is. They are a source of information and they are likely to help us to advise these youth accordingly. Because we, we are also children and we are once children, we would heed to a mother's instruction better than that of the father. I think I'm right. And uh, I also, because I would not have chance to, 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 to stand up again. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to speak this. The reason as to why we are suffering with all this is because for quite a long period of time, as Ugandans, as a district, we failed to adopt this idea of family planning. <laughs> and let me tell you those who come outside from Mayuge, the, the women of Mayuge as a district are very fertile. <laughs> they can produce and they end up producing aimlessly. Likewise, men are the same because they suffer from what to do, so they have a lot of time to do that. And they end up overproducing. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just request that you become ambassadors. As we go in for this, let's also try to educate, share, speak out this family planning issue. Because Land is not there, as we, have, as we all know. Uh, 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 employment is not there. Everything is not there. But we are producing at a very fast rate. So can we speak out, as I'm doing the same, to the gentlemen with the due respect, because I know you are heads. <laughs> That's what I believe in the Bible. That's what the Bible teaches, that a man is a head. And we see how important the head is. 
the ears, the eyes, the what, everything, even the brain, is in the head. So you, you, you have everything as men. Can you go out and speak the same to your fellow men? Because when I go out, when I speak out, amongst men, they will say, after all, that is a mere woman. But you, a head, can you speak to a fellow head and observe family planning? Thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to give one opportunity to my um, gentleman here who is up. And I think, uh, uh, okay, uh, oh, more is coming. I wanted to conclude with uh, your highness to come later to you at the end so that you can also share your views with us. But uh, more hands are coming up. I don't know from my team yet and put more information into this, but I think we are, we are more to listen than contribute, or if there is any probing questions any of you ask from my team, we will probe you and ask you questions. So, please. I'm Fred Musoka. First of all, I want to disagree that the government has not helped the youth to come out of that, those problems they are facing. There are very many government interventions to help the youth, but those interventions are mismanaged by us ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you go to use rifle food fund, who are these people who are getting the funds? Do they get the actual amount they are supposed to get? Before they get, they tell them we have to share. Somebody takes half, instead of the project has planned now, will never be implemented. Tomorrow, payment becomes a problem. True. We have operational wealth creation. They use half their stake. We have been giving them everything, cow, every input they get. Yeah. <laughs> but they still need mindset. You give somebody input, when he reaches there, he sells it outside. And the problem is coming from the parents themselves. If somebody is given coffee, he has nowhere to plant because the land is now used by sugarcane plantation. And sugarcane plantation, which is not even the family project, because my, as a district, they are hiring out land and remain with nothing to use for food crop growing and family for family use. So our mindset should first go to the parents, go to the readers, then the use will come up. If you go to this radicalization, who is taking the use to the bush? These are elders. Mm -hmm. church, elders church elders, most this, most key leaders. There is no use who is involved in recruitment. It is the elders who are involved in recruitment. And they take the use, then you start blaming the use. <laughs> we should stop blaming the use, but blame ourselves. Mm -hmm. Then we have another thing which I want to talk about is corruption. People yeah. are now using corruption as a cover of stealing. We should now differentiate between corruption and stealing or robbing. They are robbing government funds and that is corruption. We should, they should be charged differently. If I am given money for this project and I don't do it, I should not be charged in a corruption court. It should be taken as a robber or a thief. But because corruption now has become something which, which is quoted, which is something it sounds better than safety. Because if they hear that you are, your father has stolen money, but they say your father is corrupt, <laughs> which, is, which is just sugar coating. That, that one should stop. And then I think Mayuge is, is no longer the Mayuge we used it here. There is some slight change. Yeah. Big change. There is some slight change because now when you talk of uh, radicalization, since we started this crusade of de-radicalization, I can confess that we have not had, I think since 20, 2015. If there is anybody who has joined the LDF, maybe came from another district when he had when is a, 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 a bone of Mayuge but staying in another district, but from Mayuge, 
that recruitment has stopped. Though they, they, they have been doing it clandestinely, but we can assure you that since 2015, there is no more open recruitment as it was. Those who are recruited are taken from other areas, not my people. Then, the use also is the problem of uh, unemployment. To me, I would suggest, if it is possible, district service commissions should be abolished. <laughs> yes. I am talking from my here. Yes. I have moved from many districts. There is a district where we, we, conduct, we, we plan with the cow, the RDC, and my office. And we agreed, we brought members from other districts who recruited people, interviewed them, and after the, the same day after, pass, after, after interviewing, they gave out appointment letters. And those people said, now, you have denied our, our signs and so is what? Opportunity to get money from the recruits. Now we are going to do something against you. But you said, for us, we are government workers, we shall go and work anyway. If you see people who are applying for jobs, if you don't have money, whether it is in Mayuge, whether it is Kamuri, whether it is where, you will never go through. Can't we do it military way? <laughs> you bring some people to recruit, you sit there, you bring your papers, after, then, they and then they say, so and so has gone through. Then they give the appointment like that. Oh, if not, it should be recentralized, be taken back to the center. Corruption is also there. It's no, it, it will be minimized. <laughs> yes, yes. Or we can just get people from other regions and come and do what and do the work. Then population explosion is it has been talked about, but I suggest the government should also come in. If you if you are ready to produce more than four children, you should start paying tax for those children you have. Extra children. Mm. Sure. Mm. Because people, if you go to schools like you have a school here by here, this week, at lunch time, you live in cry because they don't have food. Children, if just lunch time comes, then they send you go for lunch. They have nowhere to go. Then they start roaming around, around. When time for going back to class comes, they will go back. Where? How do you expect that child to be? The performance will always remain down. So. Operation explosion should be a government policy. Should not just be left to the hands of the district leaders of our parents, no. At least a tax should be put. Then you are talking about government involvement in neighbors' affairs. It happened to work on the border with Congo. Honestly, if you are to be there and you had powers also, and an ADF comes and abducts somebody, you text him when you are seeing, then why don't you follow that person? You know, some camps are just there, the government across is not doing anything, why don't you go and dismantle that, those camps? So at times we are forced to go there because the government which are there are failing and the, our enemies are there planning for us. We should disorganize them. In fact, we should not even be allowing them to be in less than 100 kilometers. So that involvement at times is necessary. We should not be blamed. Then you, there was also these programs in the north. I happened also to work in those areas. I wish those programs also should come to areas like my here. Because a program like NOSAF, PRDP, they are mismanaged by the locals there, not the government. We reached the next stage of putting, it was sort of a by law that was not, it was not written. We could deploy in the market such that a man or a husband who brings a, a goat or a sheep for sale without a wife should be arrested. <laughs> and you could deploy that and arrest them. Because we could give them, now the man, because they, there is a way they, they marginalize the wife, he picks somebody, something which has been given to them, then takes in the market for selling. There are very many ghost projects. You find the project is funded every financial year, but when you go there, it is still on the foundation. 
So the, the, pro, the, the problem is the population is there, the managers are there, not the government. So maybe with the policy, if you, if you, you can talk to the higher authorities also, they bring those projects within us. But again, we should also check ourselves because if we fail to manage the small road that is given to us, if they bring the more, what shall we do? So finally, religious involvement in, it was inter-religious inter conflicts. Inter-religious conflicts in my is, is ending, as I can say, because formerly different sects could, sect leaders could not even meet and greet each other, but these days, we bring them and talk and take photos together like that. So the situation is changing. And uh, we invite you for another session like this, such that we also involve these religious leaders. And uh, we keep fighting against radicalization. Thank you very much. And you can actually say a few, few words. I'm sorry if, if you have anything burning, you can write it down. Write it down, give it to Lina. You can speak in Lusoga to Lina. She's actually much better than us in Lusoga. I, I beg that uh, I give this opportunity to the Highness uh, to say something before we invite the RDC to give us a closing remark, if you don't mind. So, Your Highness, please. Please. Uh, I will speak in my mother tongue yes, for my people to get me very well. Thank you so much. I'm a very no, 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 Uloklooza ebili kuruma ense no. Mwale etawa kashopwenu. Ate mwajiri etawa no ewe ife. Mayuge, <coughs> nenda kukwe bazolo echo, mwe vale kuloza mulonji. Asebo, ndi jako gela kwa bugambo butono buti. Tiri jako gela vinjino. It's okay la yalabu action points kwe njiri nga notinga ku. Mtu sekwe bit late. Umusomo kuno mulonji ino sebo. Aye, Mufupe nga ino kubo nanga communication ya imwe. At least ya tutuka kwa in time. Atida kujamu biwa mvu. The good thing in to say kwa no. Eda ni kugela kujamuri. Bana ukusokela ilala. All the security organs they did wano. Nijia kola mix up. Uluso kano ni nonu zungu. Kupanga lule uli mirugwira. Chovoma na niko gelo life. Uh, Nzena andiwa ile nduwa. It is okay to read a drawing board. But that I feel it into a bark or longer. Or quite a killer take it up. We are the long one. We only command to do local Kedumka and Akira culture. Ianga better get Kiranga Mungerio Tineno. Gawajo Kuza Roman and as not to get until the one I'm lens. Gafuna Kayo. Ulo kwe ndo kwe tegekira wakubo nanti umuano unu haba mungusi Nga mukezi Ajakuba mukozi Nga ata uembera yoko bandi muna muno mulimu Katonda Chimche yako zisa angachindi muso ni wako zisecho Muno mulimu malaika ayo wanaida yo Nga anzira o Malaika ya idako gemomu kwa nozigala o Chimche chunocha ya ambayo ino badada wefi For development wakubo nanti but you never could. Bana actually was sad, you know. Oma no muto toso bola ma advising ang oma gay ni njira inzano kuvuma. Situate organism funi bizubu bini mungsonge no. Aye head of state inga arwa ine. Ata irebu lichimu mungkola. Aye ndi kuba saba. Rachi inkobi entitude drawing board. Omuza iri. Oko zemuli mochi. Omwana uliko ulimu wako kuhile chi. Wako oliva osawa yiku minandalo, mulimu kuliku etakisa. Mbole se waka, olive kakasanti bana asoko lukuma haba, naba nabana wata mwempisa mbandu. Mwuso ni wako gila chinu. 
ayangani no chogera kubanga ne chitwizize nyuma ife mu bwangu ba mukali chogwa mu masaza gaife mu bwaka bakabwa ife twalingani structures ngaditandikira muluya waira ku kulusuku chali chitegeza ati no we chisoko uwo muluka uwo mutala uwe gombolola bwangu muzungu ne yaleta muchi gombolola aira ni mubika twa mara twa taochi wajani kuwe isaza structure zedu government yo muzungu yaida yasoka ya dibayinga eza mubibye aye bano yalo baba ta ku maiso in fact inva heads of state sawandi abaida o bagoba obwa kabaka obuzi bobo tufunye ino nti chitule teri na bana befu kubona nti mpisa bazira omusango bagwiza ku government atenga government eko zo mulimo kwayo aye wani wo muzayi walo bakola mulimo bo wali ndi land head of state na region okolachi echo chiri mu bantu abantu tiba kaenda akola oyi zo kuti amawano ngane ni mire mure mu yokuta olusuku echo chali chitegeza cho olusuku chali chitegeza ndi buli muntu abenga no olusuku mu makagi tuvobo na batanga we bintu ebyo ero omuza ero no yayongera ngo kongera wo mwana wundi nazala obana yayongera kumuwa ro bakumulenzi yena nga mufunira kaibo dimuna buli kenkuwa dikwendo je otengo mu obachinu so obachichi obamaji oli kuchitegera era buli mwana yalinga ni responsibility okubona ndi buli kaibo kewe kali aye nga yedadda oba baba we yakatume lina kano ka chirongo kano ka mauta kano ka gundi imwe sadi no bemuli kwetanti sitani ainga ina kucho sense abantu bali babo nanga wala omwana yaje anga okubona nti mukaibo majoke bela mwati amaji gata ile ngamu buyabulanga ne sente enko kere oyabikanga tibitimpegana amaji mukaibo gali mwame ati gali mu 10 aka tusabe marai ko yo chiro akwikirizo boli yaku ilala aye ni woli jota kongo kere amaji ago che chali mwetu nti enko kere we yaya lulango bwano bwai 10 obugabi baso bolango kuvamu eithe mbuzi ayinga ya mwana chi mwene kaibako omuzungu ya idoko ko yabonera yakoba ati no gana amagezi malunji no yegula wa banko kutola ochire sente dona dona boti tuditwala mu mabank ayinga na kucho sense eyo ne yali banka ya badada bayifu ayinga mwana na liku na ina responsible kuchi ayinga akola follow up ni baba omwana tusokola kujano ibamu chichi iji mukai bomo awo endi basabira anti bana tusoke twire yo drawing board abazaire musobola ku playing roles daimwe uh, tusobola kufuna mu kirunje mu mujijo kujyo kwirawo a <coughs> uh, wendira ku side ya a uh, musada musada mukuru mwami nyegenye achogere ku uh, prolonged uh, you know what uh, unsolved conflicts ekitundu kya ife kino ndoza mu idibulunji okusingira la family yange uta lwaso kera mwange ngo muzungu yakatu kanga wanu before that structures did not dalimu era ngo muntu awulira nga luba wabo igola buli muntu echalo chona chona chikolachi buli chimu chali mu mitendera aye sawa dino oliko yagana nga ne yali owo mutala kuboyo omutala ne yagge maganyanga ensonga debi itaka sadi no mumwata wo bantu bayi tisobola kushikuchi wakanya it's a good you know e, e, yali nkola ya muzungu kuchu usamu aye nzo ndandi bayire ndoza ndi owo omutala yandike magaine ngana chi na bantu abo government beta ile mwasobola kubonanga mutereze ebintu bino kubanga abo na baba mu bantu ku ground bayambirwa ku ni security organs Echintu echo ndoza ndi chande bechi yamba government okutola wenta le dama taka ID chairman ya katonda okuita gana ku keyongera lwe bintu ebyo Ah uh, <coughs> ku side ya abaganda life abatu abatu we chigambo esawa dino ndi kwenda kubategeza ndi ndoza muulira enemba daba lokola basinga bunji ndi kanisa yeda muchi yaida muyegu kanisa tekabu lila bantu bintu bibazimba echo ndi kwenda kuba point blank ole wayogera mazima bafa kumulamwa baira kubindi 
chino chilikunge maku wano mtifu domwe yange ba ba dada banga basokao bata mu chifo chile bintu binje lye kula kula na ba providing amataka district wet eno ano prison wale weri era colonial government ya azimba ne numba sadi no jendi amagombola kona kona gali mu buna sadi no bukale ba wet eme ebitu ndu binje dada wange biyatao aye nga muzungu na mtu kirire ni agreement sidi ruwe da kole aye sadi no liko bo mundu nti muna ndi kwenda tu benti tukolera wala development ebe mu chifo chino bana buli ali mu chizimbe chino ndi kwenda mukole ku research nze kanisa yaba kristayo je nsabira mu yandi mu kristayo mu kristayo chi mubuna oba kanisa chi mubuna je muri bona nti bakoze development obwe eri wo musinje ogulitambula ogusanuso mu kristayo ali sabira bona bona wali ntalo ifo tuli koba nti ebintu bino tuli no gemera walala ngabe chigema ku kubonanga tukulakula ne bifo bya ife bana ife tibali tuliriza tibenda kutesa ate tibenda development chamvambo nanti buna eize ine inuma bana ife abandi abali gemagana bo bali jamu maiso so konsonge yo nzenda ndi bayendoza nsaba nti bwana facilitator oyongero kutuyamba oletinga ko emisomo jino abantu abona bona abakuru tutiamenga nabo munu tuogere nabo tusobola kuba nanti buli omwate gere cyo kukola aye baba head of state misora ni wona ila wane minu ndiye chikumi nga omuntu tata ile chintu cha kukola mugongo wetu jamalanga bwa biseda rolo ya baba ni wa mama tulinoji tanika ku tule yo drawing board <coughs> ndi dibulunji nti Buli government yona yone tao Omulamu wata gets dayo Government yone ina kwa kwa values Didinga munana Dona nona dogera kubintu Bia kwa nanga ense neta ambula bulunzi Nise bantu chava zinga wabuso gawili ya mgabula na diopo wakuna Edide da tambulila kudirina Mulimu wakuta ambulila walala Mulimu embali lila Mulimu wakuisanya Nebiye mpula, mpula na. Mchintuwe chona 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 bana ifaba singa buni. Mwotani kukukera kwa accountability. Mwotani kukukera kukuida alala. Ngaina walifu, nila walifu nanti yuwa naida yari. Ulijato walawe echo. Barumuka wambilo tiba kuwa taimu. Ndikuwa sababa nangi, nanko manga kwao. Tulingire kumsonge do, edina tutu wala maiso. Tusobolo kuba nanga tuzimbe wanga liaifu. Ninze Robert Yokana mkadanga lugu wa msangu. Secretary wa Kisoka Chief Shroy Council. Mwema lini mwema lini. That as much as we have we've got so many activities. It is very important as you live in the home. You live somebody who will trust that you will be so that you're responsible for the family. He gave the back ground that for them to live yesterday the child belonged to everybody. Unlike these days, and those are some of the challenges. The other that I noted with Grace Contact was, was the misunderstanding, just to mention the misunderstanding uh, between or amongst, amongst religious denominations. Him being a cultural leader, he noted that in other churches, as if they are not in for the good, but they are in for issues of making it money. The last let me be said, requested, that we need to have more workshops of this kind that can bring us together, so that we can move Mayuge and Uganda as a whole. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. I think uh, we have really exhausted quite a lot. And if you have any other issues that you think really you have not uh, put it across to this meeting, to this validation workshop, please come and contact us, me, Lena, Mr. Alwa, and Tufina and Alevo over there. And it's more especially in terms of getting our contacts, 
uh, we can give these contacts to you so that you can reach us by either email, WhatsApp, in any kind of communication forum which is possible. By way of protocol, I would like us to give applause to everyone and let us just thank ourselves. <laughs> I would like to hand over my role back to where the protocol lies and is with Nexon uh, uh, Lua. So thank you. Thank you, Professor. And uh, I think we have deliberated on this question and it is enriching to our findings. And I would wish to say that we will continue interrogating and adding new things because it is not stationary, there is permanent change. Change is the only constant. So I thank you for the attendance and responding to our call. I would wish now to say uh, those who have not yet filled their evaluation form can you finish that one and we submit it? And I would wish also to invite the RDC Mayube to come and give his advice and close the for us. Thank you. Uh, it's set to close. May I take this opportunity as part of the team to ask and confirm with you are the presentations of the preliminary findings duly compiled by OSREM, by EGAD, by PISNET, by the Ministry of Internal Affairs, the true reflections of what is really happening in Mayuge? Are those true and correct? Yes. Are those true and correct? Yes. Thank you so much. I hand it over. Right. The first announcement is that after the closure, we will go for a group photograph and then the check on the those fellows of your transport refund and then lunch. So when I had this please these are your people, talk to them and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, moderator. Can I speak Uganda? Yes. 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 Communicate in English. And then briefly, I will turn into the local language. So, first and foremost, uh, on behalf of the participants, I want to take my sincere thanks. One, to the organizers of this workshop, or the review workshop rather, especially the team before us, a very brilliant team very senior indeed in the matters of research, in the matters of communication, and in the matters of evaluation. I want to thank you so much for especially choosing Mayuge as one of the areas of your research and findings. And indeed, you rightly press the right button because history tells us that once upon a time, Mayuge was the most disturbed area in the Busoga region. Because we had the incentives, like uh, you rightly mentioned, we have the waters, we have the forests, we have the landing sites, many of them. And you rightly mentioned that there are multiple so tribes and cultures in this district. And each culture has its own behavior and its own implementation of its activities. So when you look at Mayuge, it is almost broad-based. And I think your findings and research were pointed at the right place. Two, I also want to thank the participants. 
I think the selection was not discriminating because we have even the lowest leaders. We have the, the communist person, hmm? the one who interacts with the, the, the community every now and then, the border border, the utoda, the religious leaders, the leaders. So the combination was also excellent. And one thing I want to point out, NRM government has stayed on and on. And without fear or favor, we feel we can still stay on and on. Simply because, simply because whenever we touch something, we involve the community. Anything that we do, that is our stepping stone. The community is involved. When we started this revolution, it's not an seventies revolution. This is people's revolution. And here today, we have started another revolution mm -hmm. of bringing sanity, total sanity, in the entire country. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, we had a workshop. Exactly geared that what we are doing here. And I want to assure you where you were not. I want to assure you that government is determined to end extremists. It's determined at all costs. We had the entire Soga region yesterday. And everybody was saying enough is enough. We cannot keep suffering. Because whereas we are talking of total peace everywhere now, now we are talking about kidnaps. We are to talking about recruitment in ADF and in other activities. And we are saying this must end. So for you who is here, if you still think that you can still incite this country, take it back to where it, where, where it has brought in a number of people from all sides of the, of the continent, you are deceiving yourselves. We are determined to end this, and yesterday we agreed, because we had almost six regional workshops taking place at the same time. In the west, in the north, in the far north, in the east, and in the Soga region in particular. They were taking place at the same time. And we say, yes, governments should now make a conducive, a conducive policy, and parliament should address the issue of budgeting. So that whatever we say should be put in place or implemented must be funded by none other than parliament. And as you know, whenever parliament addresses an issue, it's a national issue and must be implemented. So that's where we were yesterday. I am very happy to stand before you and address you, especially on the same matter that we had yesterday. But in brief, allow me to respond to just four, two or three issues. It is true, ladies and gentlemen, it is true, whether you like it or not, my, my UK is no longer a fertile ground for ADF recruitment. It's no longer. And it is beautiful. It is true. Now, these other factors that we have had, it is also true that they exist. But these are now factors spreading all over. As you had the pulling and the pushing. When you look at factors in Kampala, look at factors in Gulu, look at factors in, in Mayuge or in Busoga, they almost match factors of employment, factors of, of religious uh, affairs, factors of, uh, uh, like she said, factors of family planning, eh? and factors of child neglect especially by families. This is what the, 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 the His Highness was talking about. 
as parents, as entrusted by God, that we shall produce on his behalf, we have neglected our children. And we have left them at, to whom it may concern. You find a child of six, seven, eight, nine years also demonstrating. He's on the street telling us how bad this government is. <laughs> And then you just wonder and say, what is this?